Oh. 1964 silver. 1901 Indian head. Look at that. Silver. It's one fine ounce of silver. We are back at the $500 antique storage unit right here. It might look a little bit different than last time. We went ahead and got a U-Haul and took all the moldy, gross furniture out of this thing. So the only thing left inside this unit now are boxes and boxes of who knows what. Hopefully good stuff. Let's go find out. You better just back up right now if you don't want none of this. You know what I got here? What? Look how tall this thing is. A first trident? Off. I have a trident. I am who? Um. I am Justice League Aquaman. <laughs> I am Aquaman from Justice League. Literally, the box is in here, but they just chose to leave it in there. You need to leave it out of the box, I mean. So here's a giant trident from Aquaman, apparently. Stay there. I wish it was real, but it's not. All right, so we noticed this giant stack of old school games right here. First off, who had that beautiful thing as a kid right there? Light Bright. You know how many memories I have of Light Bright? A lot of them wasn't never working, but you know what? That was a fun thing when I was little. Now look over here. What's this? Ooh, look at these. What is this? Gosh, okay, this is Whoa. super heavy. Cool. Look at it. It's got like a bunch of fish, some dolphins, some underwater stuff, but I would bet you this weighs like 20 pounds, which is just awkward because of how small it is. And there's something else in here as well. What's the little miniature one? Uh, a flower and a can of something. What's in the can? Troll sour. They make gummy worms in a can. Is that what's in there? Let's see. What if there's just a bunch of money in here? Well, <laughs> nothing in there. <laughs> I that. was like, I was expecting one of those like things that pop out. Oh, like the snake thing? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been funny. Last thing in that box is a snowman thing, but it's like it looks like an upside down glass, like an upside down cup they just made into a snowman. Check out the giant electric battleship. You can tell just based on the Milton Bradley logo, this guy is old. I wish it has a date on it. I was about to check the back, but the back is blank. Is there a date on the front of this somewhere? 1977 for the battleship. So that's pretty cool right there. Let's just set that here. Some of these games look newer, some of them look older. It looks kind of mixed in here. Mr. Bean, there's another battleship game. This looks like the old, old one, doesn't it? Uh. Oh, look at the box. Well, that's a destroy, but you could again tell it's definitely an old version of it. Domination. What is this, domination? Domination. Who remembers perfection? Me, me, me. Just waiting there, getting super close and bang, and then it pops in your face. Ugh, look, my game. I actually created this one because this is apparently, according to everyone in my family, this has been my skill set since I was about five. So I got that. Um, all games in here. There's some newer board games in here. Uh, oh my goodness. Hey, another perfection. Bop it. The goat. You think it'll work? I doubt it. Oh. No way. Uh-oh. You ready for this? I could do this all day. Okay, I'm done. It's getting too fast. <laughs> Ow! Oh gosh. I used to play with that thing so much all the time when I was little. It's pro probably part of the reason my hands and reflexes are as fast as they are at this age. So there's people that have, you know, a cast iron pan, two, maybe three. And then there's these people that have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 12 or 15 different cast iron pots. The bad part is they look rusty. Does cast iron rust? Yeah, they rust, but I think there's a way to clean it, right? Yeah, you guys let us know. I remember one time I said I was going to put it in a dishwasher, and I basically got verbally assaulted in the comment section. So I guess that's a no-no. For anyone that knows how to clean them, make sure you let us know down in the comments. This fishing pole here is complete there, but it's, I looked it up. It's kind of a cheap one, so we're just going to let it sit down there. Let's start moving stuff around because I haven't gotten into any of these boxes yet. Obviously, the big stuff like a TV. I see the TV. There's a TV in here. <laughs> this is personal baby stuff. It's like the tape, you know, to measure the woman's stomach and everything. So that box, will make sure they end up getting back. This one, I don't know. Glass. It, well, it's broken. I almost grabbed it too. You see that? Yep. Broken. This is little angel. Does it have a make on it? Nothing on the bottom. I don't see nothing written anywhere on it, but that's got to be like mass produced, you would think maybe? Yeah. I don't think somebody made that at home. They could be good. Let's open one more thing up and see what it is. This is a horse. Oh, it's a unicorn. Check that out. I love these things porcelain because they're so good to look at, but 
I hate selling because I swear you could put three pounds of bubble wrap on this and put it in a titanium steel box and it's still gonna arrive broken every time. So I always try to sell this stuff locally unless it's like something that's super expensive. Let's get into the banana box here. So the boxes in here, all the stuff in here, not all the stuff, but the boxes for some reason, it's weird. It's a weird, terrible combination of mold and cat pee, which is like two of the most awful smells in the world and they fuse to create this unit. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, that slides right off. Cool. I was hoping it'd be that easy. Inside we got saw skeletons it's like a whole box of skeletons so this is just halloween decor things like that this one smells bad yes the box it's weird because it's like if i pick something up out of that box i could put it right on my nose no scent the cardboard itself i swear like they use it as a litter box it's terrible i don't understand how it's possible the only reason i asked my mom what, what was that box okay let's look in here what is that a vase with a bunch of well Whatever these little things are, like falling off of them. Yeah, see it's broken up there? Yeah, so what What in the heck is it though? Maybe they're stirrers? You. I guess I can't see it as a stirrer because of how dusty it is, but yeah. that. I'll pull a few things out of here so we get an idea of what's in here. Have I said it before that I hate dealing with glass? Uh, there's like a blue vase, I guess you'd call it. A pitcher. A pitcher, we can call it that too. But this whole box here, it's full of nothing but little tiny, not little tiny, but individually wrapped glass items, which we don't want to take out. Let's go through some of these boxes down here on the floor and see what's inside of them. What is that thingy? Let's see. That is, is that a, looks like a jug for milk. I was going to say milk, I think just because of the cow, but yeah. in the top, not too sure. Well, look at the old antique phone. Speaking of old phone, this is an old phone. That still has somebody's number on it. But this is an old, what do you call it? Rotary. Rotary. I was to say spinny. An old spinny, spinny phone. phone. That still has somebody's number on it. And it's heavy, man. Look at the plug. That's cool. Yeah, you can tell by that plug. Look at that. That's not new. Nope. That's definitely old. What else we got in this a old thing? Maker. Oh, boy. Every mom that watches our videos, don't you want me to give this to your young kid? This is guaranteed fun day for you. Thank It'll be at our next yard sale, so somebody's kid will get that. And I'll laugh. Uh, this, what is that? Matches. Thing of matches, okay. Oh, God, stuck. Uh, I guess a string, you pull, you pull it. it, and it probably bangs the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely it looks old as well, too. I don't think that's something new. No date on it, though? No, nothing. All right, what's this? Nothing. Uh, is this one of those scent things? It's a wax melt. Yeah, a wax melt. I call them scent things. I don't know why. Ugh, what's this? Is this all nail fault? How often do we find that in units? Like, we always find boards. Like I said, it's, it's never one. It's always no nail polish or 100 nail polish. There's no in between. And then we got, what's this right? God, come here. Get out of here. What are you? I can't get it. There it is. Uh, hot designs, nails as well. This thing. Uh, is that one of the scent melters as well? Yeah. Open the top. It's That's probably duck shut. shut. You probably put wax in here. It's just closed shut from the wax. Probably. Is this more nail polish? Of course it is. And then lastly, this dirty file divider. And there's a little tiny turtle down there. What does this big box right here say? Donna what? Donna needs this one. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, Donna, because I got it. We got this one. Yeah, I need it. Because <laughs> if you need it, that means I might need it too. Before I open it, guys, make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up because that's what helps us out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you're new because we got another storage unit the other day. You'll see it next and it's really good. Trust me, really, really good. But let's finish this one up now. What do you need so bad? A basket. Uh, a basket. With clay sculptures. Hand painted. Yep. Yeah. Uh, junk, literally. This is an empty tote, a crushed empty tote, and an empty tote containing an empty tote. Because why not? This one's not empty. Let's see what they got in here. Are these? An iPod. Is that an iPod? It is. This is the same one I had, except it was black. It was like this model one. right here. This model too? Yep. Oh, the OG one. That's the only thing Apple I ever owned in my life. 
And then I realized, wait, an MP3 player does the same exact thing for a fourth of the price. <laughs> right. And I figured out Apple's entire business strategy. Uh, nothing else in here besides a few old phones and random wires. What's this thing? Um, let's see what's in the blue tape tote. Discover. Is that their credit card? No, it's one of those like server things, isn't it? <laughs> yep, well there's the apron. Yep, there's the apron too, you're right. So, there's another, is that like a checkbook thing too? Ew. What? There's something sticky. I think the pages are just stuck together. It's what it is, it's a checkout, like same thing, like a waiter, waitress thing, but they're like really old and stuck together. And then we got this thing of old CDs. Can somebody explain to me what hood stank is? <laughs> it says hood stank, so I don't want to know what that is. Oh, that's, we'll make sure they get back with the personal stuff. So we have two separate flags that are in the triangular position. Usually either a police officer or a military person that has passed away. So we'll make sure we leave these two behind with all the other personal stuff and make sure they get that back. So I just slid this box over here. It appears to pretty much be almost all VHS. From what I've been told, you're really just looking for the old school horror movies that are worth the money. If there's anything else I should be looking for, I think old WWE ones too. Somebody told me old wrestling and old, uh, I guess it'd be WWF and horror. That just says fear, so I was assuming it would potentially be a horror movie. Beverly Hills Cops, just Disney, you know, the common stuff. I don't think there's going to be anything in there worth a whole lot, but if you're a VHS person, did I say VH Ace? Yeah. VHS person, let me know down in the comments some of the ones we should be looking for that are worth money. All right, so we just pulled this box down. It feels kind of light, so I have an impression that it might be closed, but just in case there's something buried in there, I figured we'll still cut it open and see what it is. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I need a confirmation. I was, I was yawning. I couldn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> oh, see? It's not clothes. It's stuffed animals. A Ooh. lot of them. Like a monkey and a pig and Tigger and... Uh, Some in bags. Tinkerbell and a bunch of stuffed animals. Yeah, so not quite clothes. Ooh, an eyeball. You know when I was really little for some reason, I was obsessed with collecting eyeballs. I don't know why. Like four year old <laughs> me loved eyeballs. I don't know why. Like you ever see the ones that's like has the water in it and the eyeballs in it so when yep. you move it, it spins. I had like a hundred of them and I don't know why. So stuffed animals, let's get, you know what? I'm going to use the stuffed animals on the table. I'm just going to put this right on top. This one's heavy. This is the exact opposite. This one's super heavy. Let's see what's in this guy right here. Open, open, open. Uh, come on. Well, ooh. That didn't smell good. This looks like fish aquarium stuff, isn't it? Yep, all fish. Filters, stuff. the little, what do you call it, castles. Yeah, this whole box there, it's all just used fish aquarium stuff. Yard sale box. Next one is down on the floor now. Slice and cut it open all the way. What do we got this time? Not more glass. Oh, well, actually, it looks like it might be antique glass, so that's okay. Still not preferred, but people do collect it, so it's a lot easier to move. Modern glass, like modern cheap glass, I, I hate it. It breaks too easy, it's worth nothing, and it's just a pain. But this old stuff, that's cool. That stuff people like. Stuff people like. Is that what I said? Yep. I'm telling you, when, as soon <laughs> as that camera clicks on, your ability to read, speak coherent English, and everything goes right out of the window, like instantly. A lot of people can attest to it. If you've never been on camera, try it. You lose your abilities. Look at this old <laughs> blue glass here. This one says something on the bottle. 20, 20 ounce. All right, a 20 ounce. You moved it too fast. Sorry, I was trying to read it myself. But yeah, I think this whole box here, I don't want to take them all out, but it's pretty much all, hey, what's in there? You see that? Yeah. There's a little piece of paper in there. This one says Bicentennial Selber from 1976. But it's what I was going to say, yeah, maybe. What I was going to say is this whole tote or box is literally all old antique glass so could be worth a little bit but a lot of it's worth like that seven eight dollar a piece range so still a good box this box is like really poorly taped so let's get into it and see what it is i see newspaper that again so makes me think possibly something that is breakable but let's rip it open and find out for sure like this giant wow that's what it is look at that it's a giant this is a giant blue what is the word you just said five pitcher. minutes ago pitcher i keep wanting to say jug but a giant blue pitcher and it's got this weird broken wooden thingy in it. i'm not sure what that is but i think that that and the 
plate, or I guess it would be like a serving tray almost. You see that? Yep. It's definitely the same pattern. So I'm guessing this is probably one old, there's the wooden thing. But on the bottom it says Prussia, like P-R-U-S-S-I-A on it. That's the only bit of information it has on there. So I'm not sure how old it is, but I'm guessing based on the other stuff we've been finding, it's probably old glassware. We got another box, let's cut it open. Before I do guys, if you're on Instagram, follow our page. We really wanna hit 10,000 followers on that platform before the 21st of this month. The 21st is when we close in our house, and on that day, we're gonna pick a random person off our Instagram that follows and likes the stuff, and we're gonna give away $100 cash. So make sure you're following us on Instagram to have a chance to win that. Let's see what's in here. Well, that's empty, but it's like a, oh, it's see-through on the top. Like a Christmas tin. This one's also empty. This one's looking a little more historic. Looks cool though. Down there made in China, so. <laughs> With American history stuff on it. What's in the big tin? Are all these empty tins? Mm. That sounds like, I swear, if this is like 50 year old popcorn, I'm gonna cry. Is it? Ah! Smell it. No, my goodness. Well, my popcorn doesn't go bad like everything else. Do you wanna smell it? Sure. Don't tell me that doesn't smell awful. It's, okay, it doesn't smell like popcorn anymore. <laughs> no! <laughs> but it I, doesn't. I, I wouldn't say it smells like the rest of the unit. I say it smells pretty bad. Why Why not just dump it out? Why? No. Don't be freaking food, please. Oh, another one. Uh, Again, don't be freaking food, please. Please. Again. Oh, come on. Don't be freaking food, please. Okay, this one sounds like it's empty. Okay, okay so like, just a bunch of them inside of each other. What's this guy? The Coca-Cola bear. Nice. They look so happy. Literally all these are empty tin. Uh, I already know. It's gonna be like the kernels left over for some popcorn. Ugh. What is that? That scented stuff maybe? Um, what is it called? I don't know. It doesn't smell good, whatever it is. It's a weird name. God dang it. I have no idea. I'm just trying to make sure, oh, this one's got something in it too. Candles. Candles. I gotta make sure they're all empty. Oh, don't be, don't be food. Don't be food. Oh, ow, it kind of hurt my nails. Yeah, that one's like sealed shut. We I'm gonna set that one aside. We gotta get it open. Okay, what about this one? Oh. Same thing, it's probably that too, to be honest, but this one too? Okay, we're seeing a pattern here. Yeah. We're just gonna close them up and go on to the next box. I can see what looks like to be a clock in the top of this one, but notice how they packed everything. A lot of stuff is broken. That's unfortunate. Smith's Lock looks like it's broken too, doesn't it? Definitely yeah, does. It is. Well, careful because it's glass. Yeah, a broken clock. We got a couple of newspapers here. Yeah, that looks fancy. What is this newspaper for right here? That's something about the president. Uh, Barack Obama, maybe when he was elected. Let's see. New White House, yeah. This is just Obama election. I found that one more than any other one, I guess because it's modern. 19 piece treasure chest? Is that what that says? 19 piece treasure chest, yeah. What's it say? Two piece kitchen knife. It's stainless steel it says, but uh, it's shut on this side. It opens up over here. No. No? What the heck? Oh, does it open up in the, the middle? middle? Check that out. Where's the 19? Oh, there it is. Well, it looks like it's all there, but it's not silver unfortunately, but I guess Dang it still it. could be collector. Cause it does say stainless steel and you could tell by looking at it if it was silver. That's not silver, but still look at that case. It's gotta be older, I would think. I, I wish it had think. a date on it. It does not though, but that. What's in here? Ooh, look at those boxes down there. That looks interesting. Let's see what's in here first. Open, you. Ugh. Cosmetic sponges. And is that a pair of glasses? Oh, it's paintbrushes. Not what we were hoping for. Which one first, pink or blue? Pink. Pink, all right. Let's see. How do I open this? Um, oh, there it is. What do you think it is? Glitter. Makeup. Whoa, not makeup. Uh, cosmetics and makeup. <laughs> Every time we find a mirror, right? Yep. Nothing in there. What about these metal things on top? It's all metal, but I guess it maybe was all once part of one big piece. I'm not sure. Let's get this guy right here out. Ugh. Okay, what's this here? 
Well, at one time, I think it was a wind chime. Now, it's a jumbled thing of who knows what. This is the exact same type of container, so that doesn't give me good faith of what's in it. Is it the same kind of stuff? No, is this clay? There's clay Maybe. up there. What? Maybe. <laughs> I think so. Well, what's in here? Look, a weed. You smell that? I do. I know what was in here. This is their weed box. Let's move this out the way. Cause yeah, it's crazy that it still smells cause this stuff seems like it's been in here for a very long time, but that smells very obvious. Let's see. One of these I guarantee is gonna have like rolling paper or something like that in it. This is, no, what is it? Maybe it was a vape. I'm guessing that was a vape because it has something about cigarettes in it. Yeah. That, this right here, what is it? That might have been what had it. I think it had cigarettes in it. You think so? I don't know. I have no idea. This little screws. It's crazy that I don't see nothing that could have had it. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Isn't it? No, it's actual Play-Doh. Is there a reason somebody that smokes would have black Play-Doh? I don't see like anything. There's a couple knives in there, but I don't see anything that could have housed the green, but it's definitely there. You definitely smell it, but they did a good job of hiding it apparently. We just got the top box off of here. We got four more. This one was kind of half opened already. So let's see. Get this one. Oh, I didn't even realize that's so why I was taped open. Okay, let's see what's on in here. There they Whoa. are. Remember at the you beginning of this the unit. You scared the crap out of me. Because I didn't expect that. Remember at the very beginning of this unit. What did I say? You there was coins. There's going to be coins in we here because it looks it. like those people. But they Woo! look like, the sad news is it looks like mostly foreign coins, not like U.S. coins. And Still. It's not bad. It's just that I don't know what's silver and what's not. Like with the United States ones, obviously. So these are all, oh, these are some U.S. coins right here. Look at that quarter. It's That's smushed. Not, it's bent. Yeah, it's bent. Let's pour some of these out and it's see what's in there. It's exciting to know what's in these now. Oh, I know. There's a 1901 Indian head penny right there. Hold on, overexposed. Can you see it? Yeah. All right, 1901 Indian head penny. And uh, Chuck E. Cheese token and mostly, again, whoa, what is that one right there? Wow, I can't even begin to tell you what that could possibly be. That is beat to death. All right, so let's put these back in here. Ugh. With the coins, like if you're gonna show it, just keep yeah. it still for longer. Okay, sorry. There's a dime right there. That looks like it's gonna be silver. I think the dime's silver. Let's get it out of this baggie. You can just kind of tell when you've looked at enough coins when it looks silver. It's from 1964, silver. And these are a bunch of, a bunch of Indian head pennies. Look at that. Like one, two, three, four, five, a bunch of Indian head pennies. There's. Those old nickels too from the 1800s, 1897. So a whole bunch of old coins. Yeah, there's probably 10 Indian head pennies in here along with the old nickels, 1911, 1800s. That is so cool. Like I don't collect coins, but I'm a US history lover. So just like seeing the old stuff from like, just imagining 1800s, not one person on this planet was here when that coin was made, not well, one. It's just so cool to like think of in your head. Oh boy, let's see what's in this orange. Come on. You know what we're missing? I need some silver dollars. <laughs> Give me some Morgans. Let's get it. Give me some Morgans. Oh! Who's daddy? <laughs> what Whoa, the heck? What are those? Miniatures. Hold on, let me zoom up on that. Can you see these? Whoa, little money. That's, That's so cool. Cute. Okay, these are Morgan dollars, <laughs> but they're still. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Silver. These ones over here. Are not though. They look like I want to say Walking Liberty because I feel like I've heard that before, but that might be wrong here. I think that's right. But those are older coins. Look, all these are one ounce, one fine ounce of silver. Both of these are right here. So there's that. Nice. I picked that thing up. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I picked <laughs> it up and felt the size of the coins, and I said, "I need some half dollars." <laughs> because I felt it. Cheater. I don't want to lie. <laughs> but that. Let's see what's in here. I'm so happy we found this because these coins, this unit was getting kind of bad. For the most part, all the rest of it, literally all the rest of it, not mostly, all the rest of it are foreign coins. Oh, what's that? That's not. There's a Washington DC coin right there. Turn it over. Just great seal of the United States, Washington DC. But other than that, I think I see a couple, um, what do you call it? 
Buffalo nickels. This is a German coin from 1935. So right before, right before Germany did some bad things. That's pretty cool. Does it have a snow? But other than that, there's a whole bunch of old coins in there, foreign coins, things like that. This one's like actually 3D, like the head pops off it. It's kind of cool. So that's awesome. And that's just the first thing. Now it's got me psyched about these right here. I know. Okay, well, let's put this stuff back in the jar. What do I see there? You see stuff? Well, I see something that looks like a bill. Oh, don't lie to me. Oh gosh. Oh, no way. No, they're cassettes. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought this was gonna be, I thought these were all gonna be like the coins and cases when I picked it up and I just looked in there. I was like, Dang it. no way. Dang it. Sorry. Well, sorry. Right now, sorry. No. <laughs> this thing, let's look in the blue one first. What do you think that is? More cassettes? Probably. Boo. Boo. Cassettes. Uh, what's this right here? Sounds like the same thing. Sounds oh, like wait. cassettes. Could be different. I don't know. Sounds like cassettes. No, it does. It sounds like cassettes too. Let's see. Yep. Cassettes. Okay, and then we got, well, the bottom of it is a bunch of records. Let's see. <coughs> I'm just going to look for your Elvis or something like that. Tell me, guys, in the comments if I go past something that you think or know is worth a lot. Hey, Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> That's worth money. So, because obviously, guys, I'm born in 1994. This stuff is way before my era. I don't know what's what or what's good. Other than that, you got a receipt printer and an alarm clock. But man, I almost dropped them. <laughs> that is something cool to find. Now I'm excited to get into these last few. I can't lie to you, when the unit starts to go bad, the excitement, you kind of lose excitement. You know, you're human, I'm human, you kind of just do. When you find something good like that, it just reignites you again. And you're just like, yes, let's go. Is that, car oh no, it's meant to be like carnival glass, but yeah, it's right. just a cup. I thought it was carnival glass at first. Skull cup again. So this might be more Halloween stuff. There's some bowls that look like Halloween. What are these drip? Did I see your chain? Oh, I thought I just heard change. I don't know. Look at these. These two giraffes. Cool. Did you feel like you heard something or am I just I, wanting to hear it now? I didn't. Okay. Whoa. Check this out. This says Windstone Edition, North Hollywood, California. It's just a horse. I thought it was going to be a unicorn, but just a horse. Did the horn come in? Maybe. Um, that's just a cup. What's this right here? A set of dolphins. What is there? How is this stuck here? I feel like it's something supposed to be hanging, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So it's a dolphin that holds a candle. Right there. Um, let's see. Uh, Obnoxious. Yeah. So, this is interesting. There's a little angel right there. It is obnoxious. What is this? Uh, any idea? Not a clue. <laughs> I was about to say, is this a cannonball? But then it's like way too light. Potpourri! That's what that is. You scared the crap out of me. I thought you just pointed to something good. <laughs> I thought we were about to see something good. No. And that's potpourri. That's what it's called. Okay. This right here. Just dishware. Okay. <laughs> I thought we found something cool. I thought you was like, saw something cool. I got all excited. Like, no, it's just fake pine cone. What is this? Thing? Ooh, it opens. It opens. There's nothing in it. Really? Nothing? What is this supposed to hold? It looks like a match thing, doesn't it's it? It's made from match boxes. Okay. Nothing look in it. Look at the side. Oh, yeah, look. So you strike it. <laughs> Probably goes next to the fireplace or something if I had to take my guess. This guy, an old lantern. The heck is what? that? I have no I idea. Know. It's got to be a lantern, yeah. I would think at least. But that guy, nothing in here, nothing in here. Let's see. There's your whatever it's called. I already forgot the name of it. Like Hopefully. five seconds after you told me, there's something in this little thing here. It's falling. Don't fall. Okay. There's something in, wrapped up in this little piece of newspaper, and it's in another paper towel. What is it? Um, open a little tiny uh, see-through teddy bear. <laughs> okay, did you get to see it? Yeah. All right. I'm trying to like rattle stuff around. See if I'm just crazy. I think like my brain made the sound because they wanted to hear it. I wanted to hear coins. Wow. 
You see all those CDs? Yep. That's a lot of CDs. This is nothing. Hold on. Nothing. Nothing. So, a bunch of old collectible figures and a bunch of CDs at the bottom, but no more coins yet. But this one right here, or that one right there, that one right there, they might have it. So the big box on top, this one was full of very stinky kitchen stuff. Like as soon as I picked it up, it smelled just like hit me like a cartoon thing of smoke. So we're not gonna go into that one. Let's see what's in these last two boxes though. Oop, personal pictures with, is this all Christmas stuff? Yeah. I got you a present. Oh, thank you. Here you got nothing. <laughs> not thank you. <laughs> uh, Well, there's nothing in there at all, actually. Well, it it's looks just... like a bunch of personal ornaments. Though. Yeah, so let's just close that up. We'll make sure they get the personalized stuff back like usual. Last box here. Doesn't I'd open this put way. That over there. There you go. Ah, I can tell you what it looks like. It looks like VHS tape. Yeah, maybe there's something under it. No, it doesn't look like it, huh? No. I think this one's going to be possibly all... No, they're just re-recorded movies, so... That's all just crappy VHS. Some big news, we are bringing back our live auctions, guys. The 12th of this month, I was about to say February, March 12th, that's a week from yesterday, we'll have the first live auction. Remember, you gotta be a member. Go down in the description or click the button under the video to become a member. It's 99 cents a month to help us weed out the trolls. But here's some of the stuff we got going out. There probably will be more than this by the time it gets here, but just wanted to show you a bunch of stuff. We have knives, we have video games, we have those cool knives we found in the unit, the police patches, good. These Halo cups are worth literally hundreds, possibly thousands. We're just gonna auction them off. Jewelry, cameras, vintage sewing pattern, did I say Legos? Tested, working, laptop, random NASCAR stuff. We have all kinds of good stuff. Plus, if you look over here, we're still working on more stuff over here, such as more random boxes, CDs, DVDs, Matchbox cars, uh, Hot Wheels, more sewing patterns. We're gonna have a lot of stuff, so make sure you become a member if you wanna do that. It's gonna be this Saturday, March 12th. It's gonna be a big one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.